sometimes you have novel prequels that add a nice layer to your movie. You know, you get a little backstory. Something like Labyrinth of Evil for Revenge of the Sith. You get some backstory, you get some motivations of what characters are about to do, and then the big epic climax that leads into the introduction to your blockbuster film. And then you get Alien Covenant Origin, which is a pile of garbage. Alien Covenant Origins is about Sergeant Lope. You know what Sergeant Lope did in Alien Covenant? He saw that there was wheat. He knew stuff about wheat. He's tr trying to stop a terrorist attack on the Covenant with the help of now Lieutenant Rosenthal or just Rosenthal. I don't remember her designation. You know, one of these words does not belong. And that's alien. There's no alien in this book. The terrorist plot in the future. Um, the Utani Corporation buys out Wayland, which is really weird if you've read any other alien book ever. Like, this just like throws all alien lore once again out the window. But it's just truly terrible. It's one of the worst books I've ever read. This cover even sucks. We've got, um... Daniels, that's her name. Daniels. I see, I don't even care to remember these characters because Covenants, eh. But, um... Daniels is on the cover. You know how many chapters Daniels in? Two and a half. You know how many uh, chapters Walter's in? One. Yeah. Walter, the, the most... Him and David are the two most interesting characters. David's not in it at all, of course. Like, like why even bother, right? Uh, but Walter, in the last chapter. Yeah, that's that's lovely. Um, Daniels' husband is in like two chapters, maybe three. Um, yeah, it's just... You don't really get any build-up of how characters interact with each other. I mean, you get a little bit with uh, Sergeant Lope and Rosa Rosenthal, but who cares? They both die in Alien Covenant. Spoilers! But that movie came out, what, almost two years ago now? A year ago? I don't remember. I don't remember anything. Overall, this book gets one out of five stars. Would not recommend. It's completely skippable. So join me next time when we review the actual novelization of Alien Covenant. And let's see what Alan Dean Foster can bring to the table this time.